Genesis 30, verse 1. Now when Rachel saw that she bore Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister and said to Jacob, Give me children, or else I die. And Jacob's anger was aroused against Rachel, and he said, Am I in the place of God, who has withheld from you the fruit of the womb? So she said, Here is my maid, Bilhah. Go into her, and she will bear a child on my knees, that I also may have children by her. And she gave him Bilhah, her maid, as wife, and Jacob went into her. And Bilhah conceived and bore Jacob a son. Then Rachel said, God has judged my case, and he has also heard my voice and given me a son. Therefore she called his name Dan. And Rachel's maid Bilhah conceived again and bore Jacob a second son. Then Rachel said, With great wrestlings I have wrestled with my sister, and indeed I have prevailed. So she called his name Naphtali. When Leah saw that she had stopped bearing, she took Zilpah, her maid, and gave her to Jacob as wife. And Leah's maid Zilpah bore Jacob a son. Then Leah said, A troop comes. So she called his name Gad. And Leah's maid Zilpah bore Jacob a second son. Then Leah said, I am happy, for the daughters will call me blessed. So she called his name Asher. Now Reuben went in the days of wheat harvest and found mandrakes in the field and brought them to his mother Leah. Then Rachel said to Leah, Please give me some of your son's mandrakes. But Leah said to Rachel, Is it a small matter that you have taken away my husband? Would you take away my son's mandrakes also? And Rachel said, Therefore he will lie with you tonight for your son's mandrakes. When Jacob came out of the field in the evening, Leah went out to meet him and said, You must come into me, for I have surely hired you with my son's mandrakes. And he lay with her that night, and God listened to Leah, and she conceived and bore Jacob a fifth son. Leah said, God has given me my wages, because I have given my maid to my husband. So she called his name Issachar. Then Leah conceived again and bore Jacob a sixth son. And Leah said, God has endowed me with a good endowment. Now my husband will dwell with me, because I have borne him six sons. So she called his name Zebulun. Afterward she bore a daughter and called her name Dinah. Then God remembered Rachel, and God listened to her and opened her womb. And she conceived and bore a son said, God has taken away my reproach. So she called his name Joseph and said, The Lord shall add to me another son.